Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's a Sunday. We don't normally make videos on Sundays. There aren't any new offers on Sundays or anything going on. It's a religious holiday and usually Kabam chooses to make it a day of rest, but that is not the case this Sunday. We have several bits of news this weekend, starting with, if you missed it, a truly insane nine-year anniversary calendar where the top progression level being Valiant gets 33% of a seven-star basic crystal after the first two crystals that is priced 5,000 seven-star shards to buy a 15,000 shard priced crystal. Eventually, Titan crystal shards, of which I'll finally be able to, uh, well, get to 12,000, although it's still far away. The two, two fully formed tier three alpha, two fully formed tier six basic, maybe the most notable is the two tier six class catalyst fragment selectors of the 25% variety to give you either half of a tier six class catalyst or two different classes depending on your choice. But now we have, well, four star gladiator. Cool. Really <laughs> weird, right? Really random. Um, a four star gladiator. Okay, fine. Whatevs. And then we have the ninth anniversary title. We've got that number nine profile pick. We've got the protector of the multiverse. All right. All that is fine. Double track event day for my account. But then what really matters most is the nine year anniversary solo event and the not another anime reference solo event that also gives you free units for the gifting event. And we will do a video in which I open all of these and figure out how many units that I'm going to use. All these units will be toward greater banquet crystals but the nine year so anniversary solo event and yes i realize that depending on your progression level yours may look different than mine but in terms of units and seven star shards and six star shards um i want to remind everybody that this is one of those events where when you go to the arenas and you look for special arenas you will see we have a six star shard celebration and a five star shard celebration and that these start at 5,000 points and go all the way. And I mean all the way to 200,000, which is not really that many points, but it's a little deceiving because 200,000 points, especially even with four stars are typically really easy to get, but Kabam knows this. And that's why not only are the, uh, champion requirements, one and two stars, but really, and I know they're worth less points in most cases, but in terms of the amount of points you want to use, there is such a difference. I mean, a crazy difference between the one star and two star points to the tune of a 400% increase, 400% for using one stars. Now this may cause you to go up against some really annoying matches eventually. We're talking about matches that uh, include but are not limited to max ranked two star champs against your max ranked one stars. So do not feel too proud to force quit and restart your streak to get easier fights for your one star champions in those first few matchups where the streak resets to zero. That is the smartest thing you can do for your time, for your energy, and most importantly, for the points to this rare event. And I have learned long enough from fighting my own ego in the arena where I say, oh, I, I can take down this 1,200 overall Korg with this one star, uh, 400 rated uh, OG Spider-Man. And while I can do it, I shouldn't have to do it. It's just kind of a waste of time given where my efforts can go and we have so much to get done today in the game that it is uh no argument here for saying that this should be everybody's top priority so uh one stars can get you seven stars this week now i'm not saying you'll automatically get to open a seven star but uh if you keep uh selecting these milestones and claiming these milestones you got 350 uh, 550, 850, over a thousand seven star shards, over 2,000 seven star shards. Which for somebody like me, between this and the uh, nine year anniversary calendar, 
by the end of the week, I will be pretty dangerously close to opening one. Also, it's worth noting that Tier 5 Class Calistrum and Crystals are in these. They're the least uh, notable things compared to the guaranteed value of the units, the pretty generous amount of battle chips, and the 6-star shards, for sure. So, y'all, um, certainly 1-stars will turn into 6-stars and could even turn into 7-stars, depending on how close you are to forming one. Either way, best of luck on the grind this weekend. I know it's Sunday and a lot of people don't have time to play the game, but today is a great day to start between that and incursions if you've got the time.